Hey, welcome, welcome back. back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. And we came to Arby's to continue Fish Sandwich Week. Because Brett, this is Fish, fish Sandwich, sandwich <laughs> Week. <laughs> we came back to Arby's because they have two for six dollars their fish sandwiches, but we want to do these independently so we can give them a true, honest assessment. They each get their own video. That's right, so today we're trying the, the classic. Classic today. The classic fish sandwich from Arby's and we'll do the fish and cheddar this Friday, so make sure you check those out. But if you want to see our take on the classic fish sandwich from Arby's, stick around while we dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. So Arby's does have their new classic crisp, as it says on the on the package, crispy fish sandwich. Now, here's the deal. We're not big fish sandwich guys. In fact, Brett's first fish sandwich ever was a Monday at Sonic. And so I wanted him to experience these with me because I was really I was really intrigued when I saw the Arby's came out with them. Now it is fish season, which is why all these places are doing their uh, fish sandwiches right now. One thing I know about Arby's is they have the meats. That for is sandwiches. true, and if you don't believe it, just watch out every commercial they we have. We have the meat. <laughs> that, that they do. But Brett, let's take a look under the hood. Let's see what we are dealing with on the classic fish sandwich and go bro. All right, so we got this nice, not not as quite as satisfying as the uh, tin foil that we had at Sonic, but still you get that kind of like that deli meat market. Okay, true. You know, with the paper. So there you go. It does hang out over the bun as they as advertise. Their big claim, right? So there we go. Above we've got, looks like the tartar sauce. You can see the little pickles in there. And then this is very flaky. Uh, crispy Ooh, uh, sandwich. Ooh, it's a triangle. Look at that. I know Aww. shapes. <laughs> and then we got lettuce, uh, shredded lettuce in the, I'm guessing more tartar sauce, unless that's mayonnaise underneath. So, all right. Well, it, it, it looks, looks great, impressive. Man. All right. So, um, so here's the deal. I was telling Brett, um, one thing that I like about fish sandwiches is they're always like light. It's not, it's, they're usually not heavy for a fried item. There, are you trying to compare? See, this is better. No, man. I'm realizing that you cut, it no longer sticks out over the <laughs> Yours does, okay, gotcha. <laughs> I took the extra. <laughs> You're like, it's magic. <laughs> it disappears. Shrunk. All right, but uh, so one Flaking claim is very thing. satisfying. Right, and the thing that I was telling Brett, again, not something I always get, but I like how um, light they are, light and refreshing almost. It's 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 just a different from the normal for a, for a fried item. It's, yeah, it's a def it's definitely lighter. Gotcha. Let's dig in. I'm, I'm starving. You're like going on. <laughs> so anyways, anyways, journey of fish hold on, sandwiches before we Adam. eat. Let's have a talk about. I'm just kidding. All right. The, <laughs> so we got to talk about the history of the fish sandwich, Adam. The classic fish sandwich from Arby's. Cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. Mmm. I'm gonna try just this little part here mm -hmm. without anything else on it. Mmm. Mm. That is a good fish sandwich. I see what you're saying with the lightness to mm -hmm. it. Like I feel like I could eat this and be satisfied, not overstuffed. Mm-hmm. Did we find out what kind of fish this is? I know it at Sonic it was the Alaskan Pollock. Right, let me take a quick gander. So just like the uh, Sonic, Sonic, this is also Alaskan Pollock, wild Alaskan Pollock um, fish. So Pollock um, is, does make a uh, It must be the Alaskan Pollock uh, season. Maybe that's the fish that everybody's into, okay. that's why it's there. So uh, overall thoughts. Good. So let me ask you, comparing this fish sandwich to Sonic's fish sandwich, is this one better? Mm -hmm. It is better? Mm -hmm. Okay. Tastes more fresh. I know with Sonic, the issue that I had was that you could take the, taste the oil yeah. from the deep fryer. So, um, so, but when I tasted the fish itself, the flakiness was really, really good. This, I feel like I'm getting that without having to dig in the middle. Right. And here's what's funny, because I'm with you on that one. It was you could taste that too much of the oil. Um, mm -hmm. it, it maybe sat in the deep fryer for a little bit too long at Sonic. This one, the sandwich is spectacular. Mm -hmm. When I ate the piece by itself. Um, it, it was not as satisfying, a little bit more a plain. It was a very plain flavor, which says, which just tells me though, that they built this sandwich very, very well. Yes, they did. Very well. Yeah, I mean, I can see what you're saying, but 
it's it's a it's a good it's non fishy head which I I like in the fish right. sandwich so this is good fish sandwich non non fishy fish sandwich non fishy fish sandwich <laughs> non chickeny it's chicken not, sandwich it's not frozen fish stick flavor correct which I like yes. and I want to give this one more one more assessment here because um, I want to be fair yep mmm. The sandwich as a whole is good. Yep, it's, it's good, good now. But honestly, when I'm coming to Arby's, I will. I'm, I'm not going to come for a fish sandwich other than for fish sandwich week. I'm with you, right? But, but like, I take for instance, like my best friend, her favorite sandwich is the filet of fish at McDonald's. She goes to McDonald's. I'm like, why do you go to McDonald's and get a fish sandwich? But mm -hmm. I've known that's kind of like a thing. So people that like the fish sandwiches, that I, they probably love this because it's so thick. And I will tell you this: on another week at another time, we will go do the fillet of fish so you can uh, see okay. what the rage is about because mm -hmm. it is actually really, really good. You, I like the fillet of fish personally. So you've gone to get the fillet uh, of fish? I have. I've gotten it a few times. Wow. Guys, I will okay. say, ninety percent of the time it's really good. Okay. There is ten percent of the time where it is not. So that's why that's why I don't get it all the time. That's why I'm not a, a regular connoisseur okay. of fish sandwiches, especially the fillet of fish. But we're gonna come back, we're gonna give our take on the fish and cheddar. And I'm gonna be honest, yep. we're ending on that one on purpose because that's the one I'm most excited for for fish sandwich week. Because Brett, this is fish sandwich. <laughs> this week. is fish sandwich week, and it, you can put cheese on anything. It's the bacon of cheese. That <laughs> And you like bacon, it makes everything better. You can put cheese on anything because it's the bacon of cheese. This is cheese of bacon. <laughs> I don't, I was trying to compare it to bacon, is all I was getting at. I, I get that, but you said cheese is the bacon of cheese. Yeah, I know, I meant to be stupid. Like, I, <laughs> you nailed that one. Yeah. All right, but uh, I, I kind of want to get up out of here. We'll, we'll come back and we'll review that one. Let's get do it. that up for Friday. Cool. Other, other, otherwise, though, aside from this being Fish Sandwich Week, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And a don't forget to like and subscribe.